Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got a big Friday ahead of us today with FIFA Ultimate Team. Summer Heat Friday is coming today. I want to talk about that, some of the content we could see today, and also start to prepare you guys uh, for what is going to be coming tomorrow on Saturday. Because, seriously, big time stuff could be coming on Saturday with the um inclusion of a new vote that was put out on thursday in fifa with the dembele saint maximin and um monier vote that was put out yesterday so we're going to talk about that towards the end of the video i want to focus on what you should be doing tonight or or today into friday what we can expect on friday first i want to talk about that first of all uh because there's some stuff that's going to happen before we get to saturday on this game now rewards were obviously yesterday and that has moved the market around a decent amount um we'll talk about that in today's um video as well but the first thing we always want to look for on a friday is what type of content are we going to be getting because uh there's some content that we have been promised that we haven't actually gotten yet and that's what i want to start off talking about first today and that is the tiered engagement reward this is something that i think ea would put out probably on a friday i think they dropped the first engagement reward on day one, if I'm uh, not mistaken. So the first day on that Wednesday, a couple weeks ago, when they started Summer Heat, I think they dropped the first engagement reward. And I think the the period that ended June 12th, I think that engagement reward is pro probably most likely coming today because we have not seen it yet. So I would expect to see that engagement reward coming today as well. As the end of best of set one, that's the biggest thing that we have to talk about today is the set two or batch two re-release coming into packs. What kind of cards are going to be affected? What does it mean for the market? Stuff like that. And then also some of the leaks that came out on Thursday that we did not actually end up seeing in the game. This Ribery card is supposedly coming out today. Could be the Friday content today in FIFA Ultimate Team. Another French card in this promo it's just insane the amount of french cards the ea is like pushing us say hey use french cards because we keep giving you better and better ones that you can spend coins on or spend your time on to get now could this be an objective player this graphic here by foot concepts on twitter um shows an sbc player that's what it's tagged right could this be an sbc absolutely could this be an objective absolutely because friday today if we go ahead and look in game the Kubo objective is expiring. So I don't know if they would replace a guy like this Kubo with a Ribery, either striker or left wing card. Could be a left wing Ribery. Um, but this could be an objective that we do see today. I need to finish Kubo uh, before it goes away in a few hours. That is something I need to do. And I also need to finish Zlatan because my goal is to use Zlatan in the weekend league. And that starts today. So I need to get these wins. I have to get what? Five wins? Five wins and rivals with Syria forwards. Unbelievable. I got to get that done so that I can use Zlatan this weekend in the weekend league. But Ribery, if we got a left wing card, would be another link to Zlatan. Uh, Zlatan and Ericsson and all these other Syria cards. Kessie as well. Uh, that would be a very cool card that a lot of people would want to use in this game. I hope that it's an objective today for Ribery. Just because that would be pretty dope um, to see that actually come out into foot. If it was an SBC, that'd be cool as well, but I think it'd be even cooler if it was an objective. So I would watch for that today. How would that affect the market? I think a lot of people would sell some of their left wings because Ribery is just an emotional player in FIFA. I think there would be some panic selling on left wings in the game. We, we've seen it all the time when new objective cards come out. French left wings, like maybe that Mbappe left wing card, the Inform, um, and some of the other meta left wings in the game, maybe a Griezmann Tots, you might see some panic selling on because that this type of card, Ribery is a left wing, five star, five star with the pace that he has, um, with the work rates that he has would be a really good left wing. And uh, his body type, 5'7", with high agility, high balance. It's a meta body type. I think a lot of people would like to use this card with the links that he provides and just the emotional player that Ribery is. If that is a winger and... If it is a objective today on foot. So just watch out for that. That was the leak supposedly from yesterday. It didn't come out. Could it come today? It is possible. That seems like Friday content. That's a Friday-esque type content thing for EA to do. To drop that sort of a, a player into objectives. 
The other thing that we have to absolutely talk about is the upcoming batch two set of cards that is going to be impacts probably for like two and a half weeks, kind of like this last set was with shapeshifters, with um, um, with the headliner cards and the winter refresh. A lot of people have been asking me, are you sure? that it's going to be foot birthdays and FFS and like ultimate scream and road to the final cards. Am I 100% sure? No, I can't be a hundred percent sure, but I am sure. Um, I guess I'm, I'm leaning towards this is the most likely scenario because if EA wants to drag this promotion out and again, this promotion basically is footies from years past. The second week of cards coming back into packs is the other set of cards, the other types of special cards that were out during the year that were not released in batch number one. So we had the batch one cards released. We have those cards that have been in packs for two and a half weeks. Now I think we're going to get the batch two cards, foot birthdays, FFS cards. You've already seen a lot of these guys go down in price because people are expecting this type of content and expecting these cards to come into packs today, as well as people are already starting to prepare for the either Alan St. Maximin SBC, the Usman Dembele SBC, it's going to come on Saturday, which we'll talk about in this video too. Like this Usman card, he's 930k right now. He was 860 at an earlier point today in the panic selling because people saw him um, in the voting. But if you do have a foot birthday card still in your squad, a lot of these prices are still, I wouldn't say they're high. Um, but if you see how much the, the future star, or if you've seen how much the shapeshifters and the headliners have dropped, I would recommend selling basically all of these cards. Uh, there's not really a card in here that I would say hold on to just because they're probably all going to go down. They're honestly all going to go down um, just because they're going to be in packs for like two weeks, right? Even a guy like this foot birthday Mbappe, is he going to go down? I think he is. I think a guy like this is going to go down because uh, he's not going to get packed a lot. But uh, just the fact that he's going to be in packs and that there's big SBCs coming I think that all of these cards are going to see a hit in price, even the most meta ones. This Mbappe was 4.5 million during May. He's up over a million coins since then at his peak. I think he hit 5.6 at one point. Not quite. 5.4. Um, he was 5.6 like a couple weeks after he was in packs. But uh, I would not be surprised if this guy dips under 5 million coins in the next you know few days. Like maybe even 4.5 to 4.7 in the next two weeks would be like my ideal price range and area. For this Mbappe card, in my opinion, uh, if he does get there, I, th I think it's possible that he does get there. But for foot birthdays, if you've got those, I think I would cash out on them still if you still have them. Future stars, um, you know, a lot of these cards have, have dropped off in price throughout the second half of the year. But I still think they're going to continue to drop off. This Jao Felix is the one of the most highly touted future stars still maintaining a price of like 500k. This guy's probably going to end up being 300,000 coins 350k in the next week honestly he's probably going to get that low um greenwood is going to get low tonali is going to get low all these guys are going to get cheap because they're coming back into packs for a second round martinez is going to get low you know halan's going to get low all these guys are just going to have supply upon supply upon supply and that is going to really knock them down on the market same thing with these road to the finals and this big Big message if you have any of these road to the final cards. I know they're not really end game at this stage, but a guy like this Militao and Conte, I struggle to believe that this Militao is going to stay over 100,000 coins after the onslaught of packs coming this next week. Uh, these road to the finals are very rare to begin with. Just think how rare they were earlier in the year. Um, they were only in packs for a few days and they're going to get more supply on the market right now and these cards are not as end game as a lot of other cards in FIFA now are so the fact that some team of the seasons uh that we have a team of the season or a summer heat um Kempembe and Sar SBCs out right now that have incredibly way better stats than this Militao uh and they're cheaper than this Militao that just tells me this card is definitely going to be under 100,000 coins in the very near future so that's one thing I think we can look to see today is a lot of dropping in price for batch two cards. You know, we could possibly have some other team of the seasons thrown back into packs as well. Last year, what they did was during batch two, they put the lower league tots into packs. So some notables from lower league tots are like Alex Tellez, Quincy Promes. Um, who else? Notable second league tots like uh, Josef Martinez is one of them, I, I would say. Actually, this card's up a decent amount. Again, this is the type of card that if you've got it, I would cash it out because it's probably going to drop as it is re-released back into packs. And this also means 
for a lot of the high tier um, cards that are in the secondary um, tots leagues, right? Like maybe a Paulinho um, or a uh, Oscar. A lot of the fodder cards are going to drop as well. Like, um, who is it? Renato Augusto is one of the cheapest 94 rated team of the season cards that I've tra traded with recently, actually, because um, of his card being very, it fluctuates a lot in price because people are still doing prime icon SBCs and they buy these 94 rated for those SBCs. This is a guy that's probably going to take a hit being in packs. The hype for the Prime Icon SBC is not as high as it used to be. Yes, that card is usable in game, but not as many people are using it. Same thing with a guy like Pulsuelo, right? He's 93 rated. He's down to 81,000 coins, 80,000 coins. He was uh, almost 100k like two weeks ago when the hype of the Prime Icon SBC was here. So I would expect a lot of these types of cards, the high tier, maybe like 90 to 95 rated fodder. Probably going to start to trickle downward in price as well with some of those high tier tots cards getting some more supply on the market. So I'd just be careful of that, right? Take a quick inventory of your club. If you've got any cards in there tradable, uh, it might be smart to still take the coins, even though a guy like this St. Maximin's down like 200K, 300K from where he was last week. I still think I would kind of take the coins on some of that stuff because that is probably going to just go even lower when we get the content on Saturday, and this is what I want to transition talking into about is kind of like the market, what happened with Thursday rewards, the content that came out today on FIFA as well uh, with the Kempembe SBC, and then also the player pick with uh, the Dembele or St. Maximin SBC on the weekend and what that's going to really do to the market. I want to kind of give a preview uh, of that today and then talk more in depth about that tomorrow as we get even closer. But this SBC today did affect the market as I expected, and there were a lot of links to this card that went up because I knew this card was going to be juiced. I knew it was going to be in a very cheap price range, like 150k for this card. This is an incredible center back, right? Uh, is this better than Malang Sar? In my opinion, yes. I think he is better than the Sar SBC because one stat and one stat only, and that is aggression. Sar has 84 aggression. When I've used him, he's been good. But I feel like that aggression stat is going to make this card so much better. A lot of people have been saying this card is very good. And again, it's PSG. It's French. A lot of links. A lot of French links going around right now. A lot of people doing that SBC today. If you did some trading along with me, um, a lot of these cards rose. A lot of the League Un Team of the Season cards rose. I'm going to show you guys some of the prices right now. Just to show you how much they have risen in the past, uh, you know, actually just a couple hours. How are I was like screaming this at you guys all week. Buy this card at like 215, 220,000 coins. He's going to go up Thursday night into Friday. All morning, he was 220, you know, around 220, even dipping under 220. And he just rose all morning, peaked at 240 and is now getting 250 as we head into Friday. Renato Sanchez is up like 20, 30,000 coins. Uh, Mandanda extinct again at 140. Di Maria is up 20K. Depay is up like 20K from where he was before rewards. Lala, again, was the big time riser. I bought one this morning at 420. Uh, I should have bought more. I just was not on the market a ton. I checked the phone, saw one at 420 and said, that's too low. Uh, and he's up 100,000 coins from that point earlier in the day today, just because of the lack of French right backs in this game at the moment. All like all right backs are high because we haven't had any SBCs or objective players for right backs and a lot of wingers as well. Left wings, right wings. We haven't had a lot of objectives for those, except for Kubo. Um, and like Mendy, that's the only left back and right mid objectives and kind of SBCs that we've had. We've had a Perisic SBC that was left mid, but um, not a very like super linkable card unless you're using Byron links. So a, a lot of the right backs and left backs are, not left backs, but right backs are really high right now in foot. And that Lala was no exception to that. So GG's if you got in on those. Another investment that I shouted was Kaylor Navas's Inform, 89 rated, just because there's a, a extreme lack of goalkeepers that are French or PSG. And this Navas Inform was 40,000 coins at rewards this morning. I sold mine at 55K and I sold too early because he's now all the way up to 60,000 coins just because of that link to Kempembe. Honestly, the strong links are key at this stage of the game in FIFA. So yes, some cards to drop today. Uh, as I did mention, guys like Blanc, the center back, um, Icon, Desai, these guys dropped. He was over 500K this morning. He's now down to like five, uh, 450, excuse me, 440. Um, the real sell-off and the real drop on these is going to come after this weekend. 
Could they rise next week? Yes, there is a bit of a rise that could be had next week as well. But since we've had two French center backs, I just don't know how much of a rise we would see uh, with those cards. But again, talking about the ASM or the Usman SBC, who's going to win? First of all, I think that Usman Dembele is going to win because if you think about it again, from a place where we're not going to underestimate the casuals on this game, the casuals, the casual FIFA player, right? They see a Barcelona badge. They see a Newcastle badge. Some of those guys might know uh, who St. Maximin is from just how OP he is in FIFA. Some guys might not. Usman Dembele is probably known a lot more than St. Maximin is, in my opinion, just because of a Barcelona badge just gives him some instant credibility to a casual FIFA player. They might see French. They might remember using this guy earlier on in the game, not using him anymore. I'm really excited to see what this card looks like if he does win and i think he is gonna win but i think i wish we could see the numbers again for these votes because i think it would be kind of close and very interesting to see but i do think dembele does end up winning and again the big point to this sbc is a lot of people sold right wings today a lot of people panic sold right wings like shapeshifter ben yetter the uh birthday saint maxman makes sense why he was down he could be getting another card but the whole point of this vote today was position change and i think a lot of people missed that this Dembele card that comes out is going to be a center attacking mid. EA actually told us that if Dembele wins, he'll be a cam. If Monier wins, he'll be a CDM. And if ASM, Alan St. Maximin wins, he will be a striker position change. So this Dembele card, if it wins, could look something like this. And this is going to be a card that causes a lot of panic on this foot market. This is a Neymar quality, like insane quality card that just has so much hype so many people like Militao and Dembele have had so much hype this year for like a flashback sort of SBC or promo card I think Dembele is going to win this one and there's going to be a lot of hype and on Saturday when this SBC comes out there is going to be a lot of panic selling on all areas of the market because people are going to have to go and sell some things to afford this SBC how much is this SBC going to cost? My preliminary thoughts. I feel like it's going to be similarly priced to Firmino, right? Firmino's 350 at the moment. This card's going to have even better stats. So anywhere between like 350 and 500K, I think, if they give Usman the, the correct stat boost, regardless of the stat boost, if it looks anything like a beast, a good juice up, he's going to be 93 or 94 rated, but... This card is going to have a ton of hype and a lot of people are going to want to do this SBC. So what does that make me think about? Makes me think about SBC fodder. Yes. Uh, and SBC fodder is actually getting kind of low. I expect to see this start to rise most likely into uh, Friday and into Saturday as this SBC comes and, and gets closer. Um, you know, a guy like Ozil, I looked at him yesterday on the video and I said, hey, look at this guy during rewards. He's down a thousand coins from where he was at during rewards. He was just 9K. He was almost extinct just two days ago with the SBCs that came out. Uh, I would expect Usman to have maybe like 84, 85, 86 rated squads, maybe like 84, 85, 86, or 87, I mean. I don't know. So any, I don't think there'll be anything higher than an 88 and probably nothing higher than an, or lower than an 83. So I do like SBC fodder as an investment, as a club stock at the very least. Club stock, your 84s, your 85s, some of your 86s are looking pretty good right now. And again, it's going to be a uh, probably some La Liga cards required for those SBCs. So like a guy like James Rodriguez would be a, a W for me in terms of an investment. Um, you know, uh, Javi Martinez is a Spanish player getting some links there. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Of course, Isco is one of the cheapest 86s at the moment. Parejo, I'm a huge fan of those guys. And some of these informs. Some of these guys are going out of packs today on Friday as well. And new informs are coming into packs. So some of these 86 rated cards that are informs going out of packs, if you need um, a, a Spanish link, maybe this Ruben Blanco is a goalkeeper that is an 86 rated that will be needed for some SBC. So I don't mind a club stock on some of this fodder. Uh, at the moment at all. I really don't mind it. Anywhere from 84 to 87 rated, I don't mind a club stock. And you could even buy a few more than a club stock on like 84s and 85s, especially 84s, because 84s with good links uh, go to like 10K or 9K all the time. And like Lucas Lieva, it goes extinct very often when these SBCs come out. And right now he is five, he's under 6,000 coins. 
5.9K. I don't think I have one of these. I'm going to chuck one in the club because this is a basically a no risk because if he doesn't go up with Usman or let's say even St. Maximin wins, I mean, I think they kind of have to go up with either of those cards winning, to be honest with you. Um, but okay. Is that on the market? Wow. 9K for Vitzel. I will take that as well. Just some of these cards are going to rise eventually because we're going to continue to get more SBCs during this promo. So I really like these cards as an investment uh, at the moment. 84s, 85s are my favorite. 86s are my are uh, probably my second favorite. Again, good links, good nations is key for a lot of these. Just stock some in the club. And uh, if you've got high rated cards, uh, honestly, I think St. Maximin falls further tomorrow because he goes into packs. This Lala is probably going to drop in price. What's going to happen Saturday is it's going to be very interesting. But I just want to kind of give you my preliminary thoughts on what's going to happen with the Usman SBC coming out. You're going to have people that sell stuff before the SBC. They're going to have a lot of panic selling when the SBC comes out because people have to sell stuff to go do the SBC. You might have a slight pickup on some link investments, maybe like a Messi, maybe on a Semedo headliner. Some of that stuff you guys have already bought into. It's starting to creep up already. I don't know if it's super viable. Um, some of that stuff has started to go up. Link investments to Usman and other French links might have a short kick up Saturday evening into Saturday night. And then it's probably going to all come back down a little bit more on Sunday with the weekend link sell off, um, happening and stuff like that. So I would just be careful with stuff. If you've got it and it's up in price, like a lot of these team of the season cards are, I would take the cash. That's what I'm doing right now. Selling a lot of my weekend link flips, taking the money on these and just, enjoying the coins that I've made this weekend. Like this was bought at 840. I bought this at 840 as well. Uh, these were both bought at 420. This was bought at 330. Again, 420 for this. These were all bought at 120K. Uh, I still have some cards and I'm trying to flip some team of the season, a couple icons. I think I bought this at like 190 uh, and 240. For this, I think. So I'm still trying to flip a few of these cards. I have a Mandanda on my translist as well. Just maybe holding out, see if EA updates the price range, because I hope they do. Uh, but we shall see if they do that or not. But again, big content today on FIFA Ultimate Team, especially if the Ribery does end up coming. That would be massive for this game. Another objective player that a lot of people would want to grind towards, no matter how much work and how much grinding that it does take. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.